two real estate agents, one rookie. We'll test it and we'll just see where it goes. One pro. But we have to get the offer. Find out what it takes to get to the top and stay there in the agents. After years of prosperity, agents in Toronto are now facing a slumping housing market. Pro agent Katrina Dean has been dealing with the slumping market by working around the clock. Quick question, what's your weekend look like? I wanted to do an open house. Real estate is a 24-7 business. Now, with this new economy, I find that every deal is a struggle. There is no easy deal anymore. Katrina hopes to make a deal for new clients Jeff and Naomi. They need her to sell their 2,200 square foot semi, featuring four bedrooms, open concept family rooms on three floors, and located in a complex just north of Toronto. Current list price to be negotiated. I got a call from this lovely young couple who are interested in selling. They bought a brand new home and they need to sell by March. But before Katrina can put the house on the market, she needs to have it cleaned. Hello, lady. Hello. Hello. So I am paying for a team of cleaners to come on in and get the house in shape. The kitchen is dirty. The bathroom mat somehow seems to be stuck to the floor. And we're gonna make it and scrape it up. The entire house is cluttered with personal belongings. Their child draws on the walls. Not that I don't like the art, but just not on the wall. This needs to be corrected before the sign goes up. Rookie agent Janice Rushford is dealing with the slowdown by planning a getaway with her fiance, Kent. I've been working a lot over the past year, and so I'm really looking forward to taking a break and going on vacation with Kent. Planning for their vacation has led to new clients. Kent and I were talking about going away, and I was shopping looking for a bathing suit, and that's when I met Mary, and we started having a conversation about real estate. Mary and her husband, Joe, want to sell their 1,200-square-foot loft, featuring two bedrooms, a modern kitchen, a living room with 20-foot ceilings, a large terrace, and located in Toronto's Upper Beach neighborhood. Current list price to be negotiated. Today, Janice will meet with Joe and Mary to set the price. Hi, Hi Janice. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. See you. Yeah. So let's get to business now. <laughs> I Janice, love it. What, what are we going to do? Well, when we talked, when we had met um, on Queen Street, you were talking about putting the loft on the market. What are you guys thinking, like price-wise? You know, what are the thoughts around that? Um, Joe. Well, you know, for for what I see uh, in the marketplace uh, and what we have and what we offer, I to me it would make more sense around the five fifty okay. range. What do you think as far as price? Well, I think I think the market right now is probably indicating a different price point. But you know, the, the funny thing is, it's so unique, right? The loft is such a unique space. It might be a little high, but it's really hard to compare something like this to something else because yes. nothing else really looks like this. Yeah. So we'll write it in as five fifty then. Yeah. Okay. There we go. And we'll have you sign an initial everywhere. And you know what? We'll test it and we'll just see where it goes. Katrina meets with clients Jeff and Naomi to set the list price on their home. Now that it is in shape to go on the market. The challenge with this listing is that a couple of months ago I listed a similar layout property in the same subdivision for 415 and sold for 407. At that time I suggested we list this house at 420. But that's too high for this market. Experience tells me that I will have to get Jeff and Naomi down in baby steps. So I am going to suggest 415, the price of my previous listing. Okay, issue of price. My suggestion is that we list at the price of the prior listing. Mm -hmm. I think we were in, in and around 5,000 more. In this market, we should be very careful with our pricing or we risk sitting on the market for far too long and we become spoiled fruit, mm -hmm. right? So what we could take the approach that we just list it a bit higher and leave it mm -hmm. and see what happens, or we can list a little bit less and hopefully get biters quicker. I'd rather list a little, just a little bit less. To get the 
the Myers. Yeah, we want to get, sell. Yeah, because yeah. you want to sell. I mean, it's not like you have a choice. You bought something else, you yeah. want to move. So we'll start at 415. My guess is we'll be going down from here. But I'll do my best. Are you guys excited? Concerns? We just want to sell the house. <laughs> <laughs> sell it, Katrina, we sell it. Katrina can sell. Janice has had the listing for Joe and Mary's loft for three days. Current list price, $550,000. Today, Janice holds an open house for the agents at her brokerage to get the word out that it's going on the market. Good, how are you? Hey, Jojo. Hi, hi. Good. Pretty cool, eh? And they're willing to sell it with, like, everything, the furniture, the artwork. In behind those canvas pieces back there is the ensuite. There's a bathroom in behind those. <laughs> So what do you guys think? Isn't it cool, Pansy? Oh, it's yeah, I love it. It's really funky. How you mm. <laughs> No, it's not on MLS yet. It will be later on this afternoon. Thanks. OK. I think it went really well today. Um, the agents at the office, they just walked through, thought it looked great. There wasn't really a comment about the price or the price being high from the agents, which surprised me a little. I think they were maybe a little distracted by how great it looks and how well it shows. Pretty cool, eh? Yeah. yeah. Very cool. I like it a lot. <laughs> Katrina's clients, Jeff and Naomi, have had their semi on the market for eight days. Today, she's holding a public open house. We've been on the market for over a week, and so far, we've had no showings. So hopefully, we'll get some interest today. I've been here for an hour and a half, and not one person has come to my open house. Oh my my, this is really bad. I can almost hear the sound of the market crashing. Pro agent Katrina's open house for Jeff and Naomi is underway. Not one person has come to see the house. Open house, nobody. It's ghost town. Uh, it was me in the house and my signs. And that was it. Actually, when I was picking up my signs, I noticed most of them had blown over anyway, which might have been one of the reasons why we had no one. I'm going to I'm gonna go with that story. It sounds good. At this juncture, I think it's time for us to have our property parent conversation. Property parent, uh, telling you what you don't really want to hear, but what you should know. You, you like me now, love me later kind of deal. You know, and you get that with properties and owners. They want a price. Everybody has an idea of what they want to get on their property. However, the market tells you what you will get. The 415 list price on this is too high. Price is always the biggest incentive to get people coming. We've had MLS, we've had an ad come through. So how do we stir this pot up? Price change. It's either we sit at the price we're at or we drop and move. Rookie agent Janice has had Joe and Mary's loft on the market for two weeks. Current list price, $550,000. There have been no offers. Today, Janice is holding a public open house. Hers is a little more successful than Katrina's. One potential buyer comes to see the loft. The open house was pretty slow today. There's definitely been a change in the market, and I really hope that things change. What would you think of this being your, your bedroom? <laughs> <laughs> I like it, Mackenzie's a yes. <laughs> <laughs> OK, thanks so much no for coming problem. by. Now that the open house is over, Janice needs to update her client, Joe. He was here for a long time really seemed to like it. And he's looking for the same kind of closing you guys are talking about yeah. for end of the end, summer. End of, end of summer. Yeah. yeah. August, yeah. yeah. So Perfect. you never know. Sometimes, you know, <laughs> we'll believe it when we see it on paper, right? Well, <laughs> all right. Have thanks. a wonderful weekend. And I'll be in touch if anything happens, OK? okay. All Sounds right. Good. Thanks, Joe. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. It's turning out to be a long, cold winter for real estate agents. The housing market in Toronto continues to plummet. Katrina has had clients Jeff and Naomi Semi on the market for 79 days. Current list price, $399,500.
a drop of $15,500 from the original list price. Today, Katrina is meeting Jeff and Naomi to discuss yet another price reduction. We are just three months away from the closing of Jeff and Naomi's new house. We've had no bites on this house at $399.5. This price reduction conversation is going to be brutal. Been looking at the comparables. I sent that email to you earlier this week with right. what's for sale, what's been sold. I think the last one was on Melia. Uh, 380 and corner unit, double right. car garage. So as we know, prices are not what they were before. So we're dealing with that and we've adjusted our price. Mm -hmm. My only issue is it's been a week, uh, just actually over a week, nine, about 11 days at our new price. And the demand that I expected hasn't been happening yet. Based on what I'm seeing with regards to prices and sale prices in the area, we have to adjust our price again. And we all know we have a date we're working forward to in March. Adjust it to what level? Um, I would have to, I, I would think by about 5,000, 6,000, just to kind of give that a, no one's biting at this price. Right. If we were where we should be, we should have at least an offering at this point. But when you're not even getting someone coming in at a starting point, then you have to wonder. It's gonna get to a point where we're gonna have two homes, and I, I know we don't wanna do that. For me, my most important thing is getting you sold. It always boils down to price. Everything has a price. Mm -hmm. So I don't think we've quite found our price just yet. And I know it's hard for me to tell you this because you're, you're expecting a certain amount. And so was I. But a lot, of, a lot has happened between October and now. That's affected us. So we have to kind of roll with the punches. It's not like you have a choice to sell. Like, we have to sell. We have to get the offer. That's what I'm working for right now. And the longer we're here, the worse it gets for us. So let's work with it. It's crunch time. But okay. we can't go below a certain value, though. We just can't. <sighs> but if we don't go below a certain value, then what's plan B? What's the option? I don't know yet. I understand how you feel about the bottom line, but unfortunately, we may have to adjust that bottom line. Rookie agent Janice has had clients Joe and Mary's loft on the market for three weeks. Current list price, $550,000. And it's a great, like, great open space. Today, Janice takes a client who is looking to buy to see the loft. Does the paintings come in the house? Yeah, they do, actually. And they're all, um, this is the artist, Lori Dell. I think this is a great spot for Alex because he's a successful, young, single guy that does a lot of business in the city. Bed up here. And, uh, this place can come with all the furniture and artwork. In behind, in there, is where the laundry is. It's a great place in the city for someone like Alex, and I think you might love it. You think? I like it. It's yeah? Nice. It's a nice house. It looks great. I thought it had your name on it, for sure. Thank you. Let's see if we can make the numbers work, OK? OK, excellent. All right. <laughs> Pro-agent Katrina has had clients Jeff and Naomi's semi on the market for over two months. Current list price, $399,500. Jeff and Naomi have not lowered the list price. Well, I have to kind of call in my lifelines at this point. The market's beating me up, but I won't have that. So what I'm doing is I'm having Frank, who is my manager of my office, come by, give me his opinion. He's always got the right answer at the right time. I think we got too much stuff here. Okay. Well, my opinion. Yeah. Just, you know, you know, give it to me just straight up, no sugar coating. That's how I like to hear it. Well, I find the house plain. It's builder's beige right throughout. There's no color. If there was a little bit of color, they'll say, hey, make it look appealing. I think what you gotta do is stage it. I thought so. I just, you know, I wanted to kind of get a second opinion. I trust my opinion, but it's always nice to have it. It's always nice to hear it from someone yeah. else. Perfect. All right. Thank you so much. Now get out there before the snow. Oh, yeah, I'm out of here. Blocks okay. you in like me. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. Janice has not received an offer for Joe and Mary's loft. Now she's leaving a co worker in charge of the listing and getting ready to go on a trip with her fiance, Kent. 
I'm so excited that Kent and I are finally going on vacation. Tonight we're packing and tomorrow we're leaving to go to Jamaica. I was a single mom at 16 and until I became an agent, I sometimes juggled three jobs as well as raised my son. So there weren't any opportunities for me to travel. Now that my son is 18 and my business is doing well, it's time for me to see a little bit of the world. And Kent gets to see a little bit of Janice. Hey, show me. She's done some shopping for the trip. Oh my God. Yeah, it's good? All yes. right. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited oh, yeah. to go on our trip. <laughs> <laughs> so much fun. <laughs> I like that one. That's yeah. great. Okay. And they're tiny, so they fit in the suitcase. <laughs> Katrina's clients, Jeff and Naomi, have now had their semi on the market for 92 days. Current list price, $399,500. Jeff and Naomi have still not moved on their price. Their perception of this house is unrealistic in terms of the presentation, in terms of the price. Now I understand their goal is to get as much as possible for their house. That's my goal too. I get paid based on how much it sells for. The problem is nobody gets paid, nobody can move until it sells. We have to have a firm offer within eight weeks. So today, Katrina is taking her broker's advice to stage the house, to try to appeal to buyers. So Jeff and Naomi have agreed to allow me a budget of $400 for the painting. I found a painter who could fit in that budget. Terrific. That's the end of the budget line for them. As far as the staging goes, they don't have anything to give. So what I'm doing is giving my time and my items. So I'm going to do the staging for them. So far, in the four or five months that we've been listed, I have invested time in terms of open houses, meetings with the clients. I've invested money, I've done ads. I've also done some you know, exterior marketing myself, some handouts, some flyers. So right now, I've got quite a bit of skin in this game. So it's important not only for Jeff and Naomi to sell, but also for me to sell, or else, quite frankly, my time has been wasted and it's money lost. Pro-agent Katrina continues to be beaten up by the market. Her clients, Jeff and Naomi, have had their semi for sale for 113 days. Current list price, $399,500. Jeff and Naomi have not moved their list price for over a month. Today we're at Jeff and Naomi's for open house number eight. We have had a few showings, no offers, no action. I would like to be at 379.9. However, I think that's a bit of a gouge for them at this point. Time is not on our side. We are in the second week of February. They are closing on their new house in the end of March. That doesn't give us much time. Hi. How are you doing? Good, how are you? OK. Are you guys from the area? Well, she is. We want to be. Appliances. appliances are included. They were at first negotiable, but we've decided, you know, let's throw them in. They are top of the line. There's four bedrooms. Oh. You don't like that? I like it. Oh, I like it. I know. I know. That's what I'm saying. From upstairs, I can speak to the scrubbing. Yeah. <laughs> no, really like Keep an eye on the company. Yeah, like company. <laughs> yeah grab a feature sheet. And the press is in it? Because that's the number. 3995 is what we're asking. Now, asking is asking for you. Now that you've seen the house, what do you think in terms of value? Like, what would you be willing to pay for this? Would, would, would I be, value this house? What would you yeah, think would be realistic in terms of price? 340. Woo! Ooh. Well then, based on what I've seen before, yes. That's how Recently? Compared in the to same area? Ones, yeah. yeah. I think I just hit the floor when I heard that, because I don't know how I would tell that to Jeff. I don't think that's a realistic number for this property, but it was kind of like an eye-opener for me. Thank, Thank you, you guys for coming for through. Thanks. Take care. Okay. We have four weeks to not only sell, but to firm up on this deal, or else they're going to have two homes, one of which they won't be able to afford. The market is also giving rookie agent Janice a tough time. She has not closed a deal on Joe and Mary's loft. It's been on the market for three months without a single offer. Current list price, $550,000. Mary and Joe have not reduced the price. Now that spring's here, they're hoping that that will bring the, the right buyer. 
Mary and Joe don't actually have a deadline for the sale of the loft. And some people might think that's frustrating, but you know, the sign is out on the front lawn, the sign brings business as well, and you know what, the right person will walk in and eventually everything gets sold. And as spring arrives, Katrina finally gets Jeff and Naomi to move on their list price. First, to $389,000. Then, to $378,675. And again, to $372,379. And after 150 days on the market, Katrina has closed the deal. Purchase price, $360,000. 55000 less than the original list price. Jeff and Naomi took a hit on this property. They did, in fact, own the two properties for approximately two weeks. Never in my career have I had a property on the market for 150 days. That's ridiculous. The last few months have been hard on my friendships. So tonight, I'm taking my girlfriends out for a pedicure party. <laughs> Gang's all here, huh? Hey. My girlfriends mean quite a lot to me. I, I don't have a partner in my life. I don't have that support system. But my girlfriends, they know me in and out. They know everything about me. And they help me through the tough times. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Cheers. 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 For more, go to wnetwork.com forward slash the agents.